uh, Alma's recipe here again. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am going to share with you guys how to make chicken tamales made out of corn flour. Well, uh, let's talk a little bit about tamales. It's many different kinds. You get, well, Mexican tamales. What that means you can fill it up with chicken or pork or cheese or anything you have handy but today we are going to make chicken tamales and salsa verde so vamos a empezar you will need three pounds of chicken breast and three pounds of chicken thighs with bones one tablespoon of salt 12 cups of water or three liters half an onion five garlic cloves you need 10 green tomatillos or one pound three red tomatoes eight chiles jalapeños you can use more you can use less two chiles serranos two garlic cloves and two tablespoons of olive oil. You need six cups of corn flour, one bag of corn hearts, one tablespoon of salt, eight cups of chicken broth, one tablespoon of baking powder, one cup of butter, and last but not least, uh, two liters of water. The water will be for cooking the tamales. It all depends how big or your pot it is, but I'll show you when we prepare them to cook the tamales. Very, very, very important, you're gonna need a pot. This pot is not so big. It's a lot of different sizes. I just got this one. This one, I feel like 30 tamales or 35 tamales, which is perfect. Like a lot of, when we cook tamales, we cook a lot of tamales for my recipe. It is plenty for this one. This this one, has, um, this one, because we when we cook the tamales, we can steam it. It's something that you really, really need it. And uh, right now it's about Thanksgiving time, and you will see the plenty. You see it in four fillets, you see in orga, you see in um, in super. Definitely need this thing. The first thing we're going to start is by cooking our chicken. You need three liters of water. I have two right here, and here is my other liter. So I have my three uh, liter water, so I'm gonna heat it up in medium heat or high heat, and uh, we're gonna let it warm up so we can pour our chickens in there. As you can see, my water is already really, really hot. It takes like 15 minutes, and all depends how your stuff it is, so it's time to add the chicken. But I'm gonna add my chicken. I'm gonna add first the chicken breast. I'm not gonna even take the skin, because the skin and the bones is the thing that keep the flavor, and we really want to have a really good flavor tamales. We can add the chicken breast. Make sure you have a big pot so you all your um, chicken and everything fit in. I am going to add my five garlic cloves and my onions. So I'm gonna add my tablespoon of salt. To this point, I'm just gonna let it cook for 40 minutes, medium heat, and I can even cover, and uh, we'll be back in 40 minutes. I'm gonna heat the water so I can cook my tomatoes and my chili. So at this one, I didn't measure the water. You just need to have a big pot because you need to have plenty of water so you can cover your chilies and your tomatoes. So let's move on and prepare our chilies. We're gonna start out by cutting our stand for our chilies. I already rinsed this one up, so I'm gonna be adding this one to my water because this one takes a little longer. My water is still not quite warm, but it's okay, so I'm gonna just add my chilies now. My next step, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna peel the, my green tomatillos, and uh, as I mentioned in another video, this is how it looks. Make sure when you go into the store, make sure you check you check them out because sometimes they don't, they don't look too good or sometimes they're a little bit with holes, so it's just make sure you check them out. Now I'm just going to rinse my green tomatillos because I haven't rinsed it out yet. So I have my chiles over there I added already because they take a little longer. So I'm going to add my tomatoes now. And I'm going to also add my green tomatoes. And I'm going to let this one cook in probably like uh, 5 or 6 minutes. I have my stove on medium heat. I'm just going to let it cook. Maybe like just five, six minutes and we'll turn it up. All right, guys, so I've been cooking my green tomatillos for seven minutes. As you can see, they're already changing almost uh, yellow. So I'm gonna just gonna turn it off. And with the heat, they can finish cooking because we don't want it to puff in the water because it has a different flavor. Okay, guys, since I warm my water and, and I cook my chicken and then 40 minutes, as you can see, it has changed the bread. Just the bread is amazing. It's the thing is gonna give you the flavor to the tamales. So I'm gonna turn it up and I'm just gonna let it cool down for a little bit because that's the bread is going to be for preparing my dough and we need it to cool down a little bit. I use three liters of water which is a little bit too much. Just uh, I think I could have gone for two and a half, but uh, for sure I'm gonna have plenty of bread so when I prepare my dough because that's what I'm gonna use to prepare my dough and that's what it keeps the flavor. You can use two or you can use three, 
but um, that's it. So let's wait until this thing cool down for a little bit and then we can move in to prepare our dough. I'm gonna be working on my salsa. As you can see, I cook it when my meat was cooking, so it's pretty, I'm pretty good. See, they didn't even broken it in the, in the water, which is what I need. And I'm gonna just put it in my blender. Also because I don't want it to use a lot of water, I want it to use less water than I need. Because I'm gonna put it on my tamales, so I need less water. So I'm gonna just probably to make it easier than my blender. My blender is pretty good, but I don't think so everybody will has one of these. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cut it to make it easier in the blender. I'm just gonna put it in my blender to make it easy. So I can put it in my blender. Uh, my blender is kinda quite big, but if your blender is kinda small, you can do it in two shots. Okay, so I, I don't have any water, a lot of over here from here, so I'm gonna use um, half a cup of my uh, chicken bread. I'm just gonna add it, not a lot because I don't need a lot, two garlics. I'm just gonna blend it. Pretty much done to this point. So I'm just gonna fry a little bit my salsa, and I'm gonna just put two tablespoons of olive oil, or any oil you have. I'm just gonna let it heat for a few minutes. So my pot has been heated for a few minutes. Don't let it get smoky now because you will burn. Even though I didn't put a lot of water into my blender, it's still a little water. So you want it to cook the salsa, and this is hot, so. Make a big mess. We are gonna let it cook like kind of like a uh, medium heat for a little bit and we just serve for a few minutes. In the meantime, we're gonna be moving out to prepare our dough. I'm just gonna even leave it leave it in the low heat. In the meantime, you do another steam, this thing will be cooking. So the water evaporated a little bit. It's not the water, but it is. So okay, so let's move on to prepare our dough. My chicken rice already uh, warm. It's not cold, but it's warm, so that's what I need. So I'm gonna start by adding my three cups of corn flour. So we have one and six. So to this point, I'm just gonna add my chicken bread. I'm gonna need eight cups of um, chicken bread. But for right now, I'm gonna put six. One and five. So I'm gonna just mix it all together. So this is six. And when you add six cup of water and six cup of flour, it kind of keeps that consistent about uh, tortillas though, but uh, we're going for tamales and tamales always is a little bit more watery. So as you can see, you like need a lot more. So we use two more. I've been cooking this one for six minutes or seven minutes. I'm just gonna turn it up. So I have over here in one cup of chicken bread. I'm gonna add my salt, one tablespoon of salt. And I also wanna add one tablespoon of baking powder. I'm just gonna stir it. And I have six cups of chicken bread in my, in my water. So this one is gonna be seven cups. Put it in my dough. And I'm gonna continue moving. As you can see, uh, they already changed the consistency. We still need one more cup of a cup of uh, chicken broth. The dough is one of the biggest parts when you make the tamales. If your dough is good, the tamale is gonna be good. And the chicken broth is one of the parts that give it a lot of the flavor. So it's pretty good consistent as you can see. But last and not least, we still need to add the butter. And we are going to need one cup of butter, room temperature. So I have mine right over here and it's room temperature. So we're gonna beat it up for five minutes or three minutes, just for a few minutes. So I'm gonna just start little by little. So now I beat my butter for three or four minutes. So I'm just gonna add it to my dough. And I am going to beat my dough too also for like three or four minutes. And that's gonna help me to also for my my tamales can very fluffy. It's better to do when the with the mess than do by hand because I can get very tired. But with this one so much better, so much easier, less work. My dough is already ready. The consistency is amazing. You see it's really like consistent, it's really water, which is what I wanted because we wanted to stick in the in the house pretty easy. So we're just gonna let it rest for uh, 20 minutes. Now that I prepare my dough, I'm gonna prepare my hot. It needs to be in the water to kind of like make it soft because they too far. So I'm gonna fill my pocket with uh, hot water. When you buy this one in the store, you're not gonna buy it by one or two or 10. It always is a package. So I got this really big packet because I'm gonna probably make more tamales. 
So I'm only gonna use half of it, and I'm gonna save half of it to make it soften. Like right now, they're really hard, and I have already my, as you can see, the consistency is really hard, and that's not gonna work. So we needed to put it in hot water, and I already prepared over here my uh, pocket with water. They want to take probably like 20 minutes with hot water just to make stuff. Just put it in there. They need to be soaking the water. That's a big step that you can skip that part for sure. And we're going to leave this one over here for 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be moving to prepare my chicken. Now that my chicken is cooking and it's almost cooling down, now we can shred the chicken. And we don't want it too big because we are going to put an east tamal the chicken. When I was growing up, my mom and my grandma used to make this one for Christmas. Tamales are very popular in Christmas, New Year. That's something that always has to be on the table in Mexicans traditionals. I'm gonna take out the skin. So I'm done with my chicken breast. Now I'm going with my chicken thighs. I'm gonna take out the skin. I'm not gonna use the bones for sure. <laughs> I have my chicken already trained over here because I'm making that uh, with the sauce it's a little bit spicy. So I pull out a little bit of chicken and you can do that the same thing. Uh, if you have any children they don't need any spices. Save a little bit and make without salsa. It's another choice you can do that because children they do like it but they don't like it spicy. So what I'm gonna do just gonna add my chicken into my salsa. Now I'm gonna start preparing my uh, hot. So what I'm gonna just do, rinse it a little bit and take it out of the water. Try to always choose the big ones. So you start with the big ones. This recipe will make like 30 to 35 tamales. So that's how many hot you're going to need. So I have my dough already ready. It's been like 30 to 40 minutes since I made it. I have already here my hot. It's already soft and I have my chicken. So I'm gonna start now preparing my cuts. And uh, this one has inside and outside. The thing you're gonna put your dough is uh, you feel it. The, uh, the part is more rough, that's the outside. The part is more uh, soft, it's inside. So I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit more rough here and a little bit more soft in here. So that's kind of where you're going to put the dough. I have a quarter of a cup measure here, so that's what you're going to use, so you can use less. So what I'm gonna just grab one of these here. You have two choices. You ha you have one of these, what I doubt it nobody uh, has, probably a lot of people will not come across with this thing. So what I'll do with this one, is just spread it all over. But the dough is really easy to work. The dough is pretty sticky, which is what we want. Oh, you can use one spoon. But I think we can make it with a spoon because most people probably will have spoon. So this is done. You just need to put the dough in here. Let's make it another one. One of uh, this, just put it in there. Just spread it with your spoon. It's really easy to work because the dough is absolutely perfect. Just put it in here. It doesn't have to be like totally perfect all the way around. You don't need to put it all the way there neither because when you put the uh, closet, you don't need it all the way to the top. And that's basically what you need. It's another way that I usually do when I was young. I'll, I'll put my dot here. I usually do with my hands like that and just turn it around. See if that is easy for you. You can also do that. If you need a little more, you can just still put a little more. And then that's how you do it. So you do every single one till you're done. If you think your uh, lips is too um, big, just cut it a little bit. So I have all my hats prepared. So what I'm gonna just gonna do, I'm just gonna add like one spoon of chicken. My chicken is a little bit better. It doesn't have a lot of salt because the dough has plenty salt. So what you're gonna do is just put the chicken and then fold it here. And when you fold it, you're gonna have to be putting the tamales in a bowl like that. You see how big and the, how big or how small your hoja is? So just put plenty of chicken in the middle. And then fold it in half, cover here. And then you're gonna fold also here too. Don't put it too much. I think on this one I might put a little bit too much chicken. But you have to have plenty of room to fold it. So just use your jasmine, how much chicken you want to put it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing now until we're done. I also mentioned if, if you have children and the children, they don't need any um, any spicy, what you also you can just do as some chicken. And then close that, you don't need anything else. And then you're going to have to mark it so that way you know that that's one, they don't have any, any chili, what you do. So that way you know which one it is. Tie one of these. 
and that also a marks it's a mark then telling you that that one is a different kind so i'm gonna just make another one all right guys so i already prepared all my tamales they're ready to cook so i had this spot and you see this spot has like a little line so we wanted to fill it with water i, I measure mine and i think i'm gonna fill it out mine with two liters of water approximately we don't want to pass over the line. I can even put a little more. Just hot water so it takes a little less to boil. So I'm going to just put it here. As you can see, not passing the line. You will never want to pass the line because and then the tamales is going to be in the water. After that, you add this to it. And then, and as you see, maybe that's much a little bit too much water. I should take just a little bit. So now we're going to start fixing our tamales. Always wanted to put the tamales um, like that make it stand up all the way around like that and we cannot do it like that until we're done with every single one some of it are bigger some of it are smaller it's okay <laughs> If you don't have a big pot, you can also cook it in two and two shots. So where we're gonna put, we're gonna put this one. We're not gonna throw it away. We're gonna just put it on top, so that way we steam it. So we want it to cover up. That is very very important, so they can save the heat when they're cooking. So that should be plenty. We just want it to cover up. So now we're just gonna cover. And let's go and move on to put it on the stove. So now that I have my tamales here, so this one we're gonna cook it for one hour and a half. This one I might have a little bit too much. It needs to be really like covered all the way through so that saves the, the heat. Hopefully that should be good. We are going to cook it in medium heat for one hour and a half, so we'll be back by then. My tamales been cooking for uh, one hour and a half, so now it's time to, to turn it up. They're boiled. But also that's important to um, to let it cool down because if you don't let it cool down, they're gonna look like uncooked. But the trick when they start cooling down, they start turning hot. Just wanted to point out that, so just in case you take it out, they say, well, it's not ready. Yeah, definitely is one of the biggest part is let it cool down. Okay, guys, today is one in adventure. Tamales is a lot of work, but we usually make about Thanksgiving and Christmas. So hopefully this you like these tamales. I'm trying to make it as easy as I could. It's a little bit of process, so hopefully you guys try it and let me know what you think. Hasta la vista.